say Is your girlfriend going crazy man? Simple Grab a gun if she grabs a Is your girlfriend being crazy lately? Is your jeans on? Eh, simple What's your job? Is that you pop her in the head? Like this? She walks towards you with the chainsaw. Simple, pop her in the head like this, and try not to die like me. Okay, now I actually. If you have to, go get the police. Yeah, like that worked out last time. Jack just shoveled through his face. When she staggers, falls down saying, I love you, that's when she's dead. And then you already know you're about to get knocked out by jackal boys, so you can waste the rest of your ammo, why don't you? Well, apparently when you aim it, shoot faster. Now you can get knocked out by Jack, old boy. Yeah! That was a nice two minute intro. Her head is impaled on spike. How she's not dead. Because for the rest of the game, she's alive. And that right there. This is the beginning. Two, two, again. Okay, well, excuse me. Yeah, back. Capiche? Capiche? Now, if you excuse me, I'll be right back. We're about to have a dinner scene, and I'm about to fill up. Come on. Now, Don't you die I don't want to fill up nothing yet, because that's going to gonna hurt. Now, we're about to have dinner in this next scene, so I want to go have my dinner, even though I'm going to fill it up. Be right back. Voila, I am Bayak. I wasn't actually eating today, I was, test I was testing you guys. See how long you wait. You succeeded. No, I'm kidding, you, you all failed, because nobody ever watches my YouTube channel, because I'm always going AFK. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? Eat it. It's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. This boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. So, 
here at this point, there's nothing suspicious. I mean, yeah, they are trying to kill you, but like, you know, there's no virus related moldy creatures yet, other than Mia, uh, Mia being able to not die. You, you did assume, you know. Yeah. You don't know what to say about that, do you? But, um, uh, other than that, this family, it's just crazy family. No super virus related shit yet. You know, there's a hub in there. I do know in here. I want to try something actually. Thanks for doing that, buddy. We. Whoa, did that kill me? I don't know. Bye bye. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> that always scared me. That always scares me when you almost get caught by Jack. That scene scares me. This whole game is scary when you don't have a gun. The hell, this game is scary at points even when you do have a gun. Like, first molded encounter. Um, jump scares like Jack coming into the bathroom of this main house. Yep, I beat the game, so I got this now. I'm not even supposed to have a gun yet. When do I get a gun? I do not know. Something in here, right? Still bubblehead. Boy. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. There's always something annoying about every Resident Evil game, right? Resident Evil 1, it might be trapped in one area of the map for the entire time. Like, you're in the mansion for the whole game. Resident Evil 6, you're constantly moving forward. Maybe that's better. I think I would prefer that. <clears throat> no, but um, I don't know what it is. But mo some games have... This is always something annoying about every game. For this game, it's... As soon as you're about to walk out a door, you die. The phone that's always ringing. And in Resident Evil 4, it's Ashley. In Resident Evil 6, it's the whole game. And also Ustanak. I'm trying to run away from him. It's terrifying. I'm gonna wait until I get the knife from the cop. I gotta, like, try to go around the corner to trigger it. Do I? There you go. Hey, over here. Hey, you gotta help me. 
Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me? No. No. All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. Now, calm down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons called. And I Good to know that's green. That an outsider like yourself may not be involved. Right. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk there. Hey, wait. You gotta give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look, officer. Deputy. Right. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. That's all he's gonna get. Which makes go. me Wrong. curious, why would a police officer have a pocket knife on him? Exactly. He's keeping his belongings on him. So look, I just get that animation of me unlocking it. That handgun ammo. Another thing that I can do. Doses. Something that Resident Evil 2 and 7. A couple of things that Resident Evil 2 and 7 have in common. Is a black guy in it that dies. Resident Evil 2, you have Martian. In this game, you have the Deputy. And also, you need to get a knife to cut the tape to go into a certain room. Which is unlocked by opening a shutter. What about you? Let's like what I just did, I you, no I cut a knife. I use a knife to cut the tape to press the button, open the shutter to go in the garage. Hey, Same thing happens with me too, except you're going to the reception room instead of the garage. And that guy's dead. That. Which makes me curious. I'm just running around so good. I'm just going to stay here. Ah, oh, he's just gonna move in front of me. I'm just barely moving in here. Okay, he's up there. Come on in, Jack and Boy. Good old Jack and Boy. Let's finish this, you and I. Do not find it very convenient that Ethan does not take any damage from that. Except get a little bit of blood on him. He's not dead. You can see his mouth moving. I never noticed it. 
Yeah, I didn't even have to use any ammo. Once I get the shotgun, putting this up. I might put this up here soon. No way. Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see someone. Fuck! Single shock and shell, isn't that just good old dandy? One thing I did, uh, not, I did it off camera, but one thing I did, when you're in the old house and you're about to use the crow key on the door leading to the second floor, and Marguerite jumps you and pushes you down that well thing, kind of, you know, that, the loose floorboards, ah, you little cock stuck in, and I just shoot her, but she sees cock stuck so he goes, ah, you little cock, and she goes, uh. I aim towards four. Um, make you. I'm not in the trailer yet, so I don't need you. Don't have a shotgun yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put you up because I can. What? Can I what it for a minute? Sorry about that, I am now back. Okay. Let me um, move my chair so I can sit down, put you up, I can put one of you guys up.
my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's, a, he's dead now. Oh. You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. I don't like you to be in touch. I don't want you to touch inside me. That's disgusting, you pedophile. Right now we can just straight up. Alright, well I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get one of the dog heads really quickly. I right, am gonna get a shotgun shell to load it into the shotgun. One dog head down. I got the shotgun shot. Now I'll do it later. Now, I'd like to call an episode.